Generally, we classify differential equations into two broad categories, partial differential equations, or PDEs, and ordinary differential equations, or ODEs. Partial differential equations, or partial derivatives, are what you get when you have a function defined in terms of multiple variables, and you take the derivative with respect to only one of them. For example, you have the equation z equals 2x squared plus 3y to the fourth, and you take the partial derivative of z with respect to x, and the partial derivative of z with respect to y. You get one partial derivative equation for each variable. Partial derivatives can be first order, second order, or higher order. So we just found the first order partial derivatives for z with respect to x and y because we took the derivative just once with respect to each variable. If we wanted to find second order derivatives, we would take the derivative of the first order derivatives. Because we're dealing with partial derivatives, we can take the partial derivative of both of these with respect to both variables to give us four second order partial derivatives. As you can see, if we keep going, taking higher order derivatives, we'd get two first order partial derivatives, four second order partial derivatives, and eight third order partial derivatives, and so on. The other broad category of differential equations is ordinary differential equations. The easiest way to think about ordinary differential equations is to know that they're any equation that contains something like dy over dx, or d squared y over dx squared, this does not include d over dx. d over dx is a verb or a command that means take the derivative of whatever follows me. dy over dx, on the other hand, is a noun that means the derivative of y with respect to x. It is literally a derivative function itself. Ordinary differential equations are generally classified by their order. A first order ordinary differential equation has a first order derivative in it, like dy over dx, but no higher order derivatives. A second order ordinary differential equation has a second order derivative in it, like d squared y over dx squared, but no higher order derivatives. In other words, you know the order of the differential equation based on the highest order derivative it contains. Now let's talk about different types of ordinary differential equations. So linear, separable, and exact differential equations are all ordinary differential equations. You can have first, second, or higher order differential equations for each of these types, but let's just focus on the first order functions. A first order linear differential equation looks like this. You might have an equation that is in fact a linear differential equation and doesn't look exactly like this, but can be manipulated into this exact form. Either way, if you can get your equation into this form, where you have the derivative here by itself, a function of x multiplied by y here, and then a function of x over here, then it's a linear differential equation. A first order separable differential equation usually looks like this. Again, you could easily have one that looks different, but the point is to see whether or not you can separate the variables. If you can separate the variables, then you know you have a separable differential equation. In this equation, I can multiply both sides by dx then multiply both sides by y. Now I have my y variables separated on the left from my x variables, which are all on the right. That's how I know for sure that this is a separable differential equation. And by the way, regular derivatives, the ones we learn about in Calc 1, those are really just separable differential equations. Take this single simple variable equation from Calc 1. When you take the derivative, you'd get dy over dx equals two. Then you can multiply both sides by dx, and you've got separated variables with y's on the left and x's on the right. So even this simple derivative, which is really just the same as y prime equals two, is a separable differential equation. A first order exact differential equation looks like this. As you know by now, your equation might not be in the same format to start with, but if you can get it into this format, then it's an exact differential equation. What you're looking for is a function in terms of x and y here, a function in terms of x and y here, multiplied by the derivative dy over dx, and a zero value over here. 
We haven't even talked about homogeneous and non-homogeneous differential equations. So this certainly isn't an exhaustive list of every type of differential equation, but it's at least an overview of the most common types of differential equations that you'll study as part of a calculus class or at the beginning of a differential equations class.